There are seven different types of TikTok ad objectives inside of TikTok ads, and each of them have their own unique benefit. I'm gonna be going over each type and showing examples from real ads so that by the end of this video, you understand exactly which campaign type is best for you and your business. And before we jump in, if you really wanna get the most out of this video, I do encourage you to have your TikTok ads account open so you can follow along with me. If you don't have a TikTok ads account, I encourage you to check the link down below and sign up for a TikTok ads account. I've actually partnered with TikTok to get you a very limited, very special deal. So do be be sure to click that link down below and take advantage of this special holiday offer and sign up for a TikTok ads account if you don't already have one. This is probably the, one of the best chances to get into TikTok ads right now with this limited time offer. So after you've gone through and either created your account or logged into your TikTok ads account, you'll be taken to a dashboard that looks something like this. Today, we are going to be coming in here to this create campaign. And then it's going to ask you if you wanna go into simplified mode or custom mode. We're gonna be going to custom mode. And this is what we're going to be talking about pretty heavily today. When you go into create a new TikTok campaign, you're gonna notice there are these advertising objectives. We have have awareness, consideration, and conversion. And I like to look at these objectives like a funnel. So you have your awareness type objectives where you can have a very broad reach. This is the reach right here. And then you have your consideration where you have traffic, video views, lead generation, community interactions, and then you have conversions where you have app installs and web conversions. We're gonna be going over all of these objectives, the difference between them and when you should be using them for your business. So let's go over these a little bit more in detail. So the first one we have here in the awareness bucket is reach. Now reach is if you want to launch a branding campaign or just want as many people as possible to see your ads. It helps you raise brand awareness, increase recognition and build trust. The bidding method for this is based on CPMs, which means you'll pay per thousand impressions. This is typically a campaign type that is really good for big brands such as Coca-Cola, Nike, Adidas, but not super efficient for a small business. However, if you do run a local brick and mortar store and wanted to target a specific geo, say maybe you have a grand opening or something coming up and you just want people to be aware of your local store, that could be a use case for using this reach objective. And if you are curious what a reach ad typically looks like, I wanna introduce you to this very handy tool. This is the TikTok Creative Center. Basically, it allows you to go through and see TikTok ads based on industry, the actual objectives, likes, and then duration as well. So if you wanted to go and see okay, what kind of companies in my industry are running reach ads, you can come over here and go over to the objective and then choose reach. And this will show you examples of ads that are currently running with the reach objective. Now, one thing that you should probably pick up on is these don't really look like ads. That's one of the keys to creating great TikTok ads is to make them not look like ads, but you can come through and get an idea of what these actually look like. You can see here's one from State Farm. There's a cleaning appliance company, Cuisine, all sorts of different ads inside of here if you wanted to go through and run the reach objective. Next up, we have the traffic objective. Traffic is if you are looking to get as many people to your site as possible. A few use cases for this audience type would be if you have a brand new TikTok ads account that does not have any data on your TikTok pixel. It doesn't have any conversion data, any purchase data, things like that. Because keep in mind, this traffic objective will do its best to target people who are likely to click on your ad and go to your website, but it's not necessarily optimizing for people who are likely to purchase on your website or fill out a lead form. That's where the conversion objective comes in, which we will be talking about later. So most of the time, if you do have the pixel set up and you have conversion data already flowing through that TikTok pixel, I recommend going with the conversion objective that we'll be talking about uh, a little bit later. But generally, because this is optimizing more towards getting as many people as possible to click on your website, the cost per clicks can be cheaper than a conversion action. That doesn't necessarily mean the CPCs will always be lower, but generally speaking, that is the case. Now, unlike the reach campaign where you are billed based on impressions, the nice thing about this objective is you are billed based on clicks. So you don't pay until somebody actually goes through and clicks your ad. And once again, of course, if you wanted to see examples of people running traffic ad objectives and what those ads typically look like, you can come back over here into this and then go to traffic and then scroll through all of these different ads and get inspiration for your TikTok ads as well. The next objective that we have is video views. When you choose Choose this objective, TikTok does its best to find people who are most likely to watch your video ad. Sometimes businesses use this objective instead of the reach objective, but you need to remember that the bidding method for this is a little bit different. It's based on a cost per view, which, which means you pay per thousand of six second video views. So if you had an ad that you really wanted people to watch at least six seconds before you are charged, this would be the better option for you. Now, if you are thinking about running a reach campaign or a video campaign and not sure which one to choose, I would encourage you to go through and create a split test to run both of the objectives to see which one gets you the best results. The fourth ad objective that we have here is lead generation. And this is of course to get more leads for your business, but there is something special about this campaign that I do want you to be aware of. When you run this campaign, you can actually run something called instant forms. And what instant forms are is it's an opportunity 
for you. Instead of sending somebody to a landing page, inside of TikTok, you can collect somebody's information, name, email, phone number. There's different ways to customize this form. And typically these have higher conversion rates because you're not taking the user off of TikTok onto another platform. And it's a fast way to capture someone's information. For this objective, TikTok charges you based on something called an OCPM, an, an optimized cost per mil or an optimized cost per thousand views, which means it's not just optimizing for impressions, but it's optimizing to hopefully get you as many of those lead forms as possible. The fifth objective that we'll be talking about today is the community interaction. This is if you're looking to get people to go through and follow your profile or visit your profile. There are two different ways you can optimize this one. And the way to making this successful is taking one of your organic posts that you posted and already got a lot of traction and you saw brought in followers and essentially boosting it in a way to a specific audience. I have a few clients right now that are using this objective and currently getting follows for less than nine cents using this exact strategy. And now we are moving on to the conversion action, more of the bottom of funnel actions inside of TikTok ads. And the first one that we have here is the app promotion. This is of course, if you want TikTok to optimize who are likely to download your app. It's important to know if you are going to be running this objective, you do need to set up app event tracking. I will include a help doc to how to do this down below in the description in case you are getting ready to run an app install campaign. And last but finally not least, we do have the website conversion objective. It encourages people to take actions on your website such as buying buying a product, filling out a lead form, things that are important to your business. One important thing to remember about this objective is in order for you to run the website conversion objective, you do have to have the TikTok pixel set up and firing on your website. If you're not sure how to do that, I do have a full guide on how to do this with Shopify. And then also I'll include links down below in the description on how to do this on other websites as well. But if you are serious about running TikTok ads, you'll want to get that pixel set up regardless of which action which objective you are using today. However, I will say of all of these objectives, this objective is the one that I recommend the most and one that I use the most often. And here are some examples of what these conversion ads typically look like. You can see they look very native to the platform. Some like to use trends like these, like five reasons why you need this smart wallet. Or we have this one right here. Are you sick of tired of buying your pup toys that don't last like a really good hook. Like, oh yeah, maybe I am sick and tired of doing those things. So hooks are really important inside of here in TikTok. Now, in case you're wondering about the different options inside of each of these TikTok ad objectives, I did create this little chart to give you a quick view on which options and features are in specific campaigns that are not in other ones. All of the targeting options inside of each of these campaigns are the exact same. You can do the exact same targeting, the exact same hashtag targeting, interest targeting, things like that. And if you are bidding at the campaign level, the minimum budget for a daily campaign is $50. And at the ad group level, the minimum budget is $20 per ad group. So keep that in mind is that you will need to be spending at least a minimum of $50 or $20, depending on where you are setting your bids at. But let's go through some of these other settings here. The first one is the campaign budget optimization. As you can see, all of the campaign objectives offer offer a campaign budget optimization, except for the video views, what the campaign budget objective does. It allows TikTok to take your budget at the campaign level, say that you have four ad groups inside of there. And instead of spending an equal amount in each of those ad groups, TikTok will go through and optimize the spend depending on which campaign is performing the best. Next, we have create split tests, which is pretty self-explanatory. It allows you to create split tests on any of the different settings inside of the campaigns. Next, we have the automated creative optimization. This is where you can go through and give TikTok lots of different options for the actual ads running running inside of them. And TikTok will go through and identify which assets are performing best and allocate the spend to those. And then here, this is one that's really important to know. The only campaign objective that has the frequency cap feature inside of it is the reach campaign. Frequency cap for those who don't know is it's the amount of time somebody shows your ad. All the other ones do not have that. And that's why I recommend refreshing your creative pretty often inside of these campaigns. I would say at least checking it every 14 days. And then next we have placements. Placements is where your ads can show. You can get an idea. There are three different placements inside of TikTok. There's TikTok, the news and app series, and then Pangle, which is I'm assuming how you pronounce that. These are the different placements you can do in these objectives. And then we have the optimization goal. This is what TikTok is optimizing for when you choose these specific goals. A few campaigns do have content exclusions, which will allow you to exclude your content from mature content or graphic content, different things like that. And then we have bid and cost control, which is very similar if you come if you're familiar with Google, where you can basically go through and set your max bid or the most you're willing to pay for a specific conversion 
inside the platform. Now be careful with these because if you set them too low, then your ads won't show or you won't get impressions. So something to keep in mind with this specific feature. And now we have the billing events, which I think is one that is really important to understand is how TikTok is charging you for these specific actions. You see there's a, a, a big variety. You have impressions, clicks, six second views, and then uh, clicks, clicks. And then we have the delivery type. Most of the time you're gonna wanna leave this at standard. In some cases, if you have a massive budget that you're trying to really just spend as much as you can and get the fastest results possible, you could switch over to accelerated. There are a few campaigns that don't give you the option to run accelerated, but all of them have the option to do standard. And then we have ad types. This is a specific type. This, these are the type of ads that you can run. All of these ad types allow you to run a single video ad, but there are a few that also allow you to run something called collection ads for your e-commerce stores. Interactive add-ons. This is kind of a cool feature inside of the ads that you can go through and add to your ads to create more interaction. And then finally wrapping it up, we have Insta pages, an awesome newer feature inside of TikTok that allows you to create these beautiful landing pages that are actually inside of TikTok. So once again, people don't have to leave the platform. And then going along with that, you have instant forms, which is only for the lead generation campaign type, because that's the one where you're collecting information and getting that lead information. Now, I know that was a lot of information, so be, feel free to go through and rewind this video and watch it back again if you needed to catch something a little more clearly. And if you made it this far into the video, I really do appreciate it. And if you like the content today, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and be sure to hit that notification bell so you get more videos coming out. If you are looking to now go through and create your TikTok ads campaign, now that you know about all these different objectives, I encourage you to check out this video right here, which will walk you through how to set up your TikTok campaign step-by-step step, and we'll see you in the next video.